Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to the channel Flash 001 USA. Today's Wednesday. It's June 15th, the year 2022. It's right around 11 a.m. noontime here and it's already a scorching 95 degrees, so it's going to be a hot day today. Now this is going to be a very short garden update. We're not going to get into a lot of detail. I just wanted to share with everybody how far this thing has progressed since the last video I uploaded, which was on June 3rd. Now technically, that video was actually recorded on May 21st, but I didn't get around to uploading it until June 3rd. But regardless, we're talking a garden that's less than a month old here. Granted, some of this was bought already pre-started, like the tomatoes and the cucumbers, but the rest of this stuff here was started by seed for me. And like I said, it's just, it's just kicking, man. And we'll take a quick look at these tomato plants. So for those of you that seen the prior video, you can see just how far these things have progressed. The tallest plant is probably safe to say right at five foot tall. And these things are slam loaded. I'm just waiting for the tomatoes to ripen. But um, you can see them now. And so far, knock on wood, we haven't had any issues with any kind of rot. And I've got neighbors that are already seeing issues with their tomato plants, but I'm being real careful. So it's paying off and hopefully we'll get a lot off of here and actually freeze or can some of this stuff here. Now, as I had mentioned, I had ran out of straw bale material when I was doing these and I substituted lawn clippings along with dead leaves from the woods to build up the soil with and it paid off. The same with the bell pepper plant here. Now, if you remember this thing, it was about, I think up to the first ring down at the bottom, this ring here that you see on these baskets, it was at the first ring and now it's coming through the second ring here. So this is taken off. We've already got a handful of peppers off of this and it's already producing more. The beans, man, they're kicking. We're getting ready to be picking a whole bunch off of here. I'm gonna let you see what we got. So you can see they're doing good. They're flowering. They're putting out a lot of beans. Couldn't be happier with this. So let's move on around. Cucumbers, oh boy. Man, I came out here last night and I picked uh, about 10 cucumbers. And I'm going to show you what's still down here that's waiting to be picked. They're all through here. So we've been eating fresh cucumbers and I'm getting ready to go ahead and make some pickles out of some of these and put those back. I do that every year. The cantaloupe. Remember I was mentioning the trellis. I said that we would use stockings or something to hang the cantaloupes from. Well, we're going to zoom in here and let you see this. See so what we've done here. There's a cantaloupe right there hanging from a stalking on the trellis. The trellis is slam loaded. It is hard for me to see out here because I got the sun on my face, but you can see, and you'll notice that when I get around here too, there's loads of cantaloupe on this thing. There's a bunch under these leaves here. There's one that's peeking out right there. I'm trying to do this without making the camera bounce all over the place and get everybody seasick here, but it's doing good. I laid landscaper's cloth down so this way I can keep the vines off the ground and it'll make it easier to keep up with the fruits. Oh, wait a minute, here's one here. I put some blocks out where I couldn't get the stalking material and this way I'm keeping this stuff off the ground to the best of my ability. But you see here, there's two more hanging over there. There's another one hiding somewhere over here. It's hard to see them in the viewfinder, but I'm sure you'll spot them as I walk around with this. But yeah, it's doing really good. The potato plants, well, what can I say? Go back and watch that first video. This is now, it's, it's now taken off really good. These came off of a sack of potatoes in the house that had eyes that sprouted. We didn't let them go to waste, and so I put them out here. And I think they're gonna do real good by the end of the year when it's ready to be picked on uh, this here this will blow your mind I have to back up for this the corn is some of it at its tallest point is almost eight feet tall and it's already flowering and you can see that we got corn silks coming out so yes sir this is doing good now I'll tell you where I got this idea from last year I did it conventional and I ran two rows 
and it did really good. I was watching a video a guy did in Australia, of all places, where he grew his corn. He said, hey, look, he grows his in patches like this. And he had his logic behind it. And I thought, well, this year I'll give it a shot, man. But his idea is, is when you grow it in a patch like this, what you wind up with is a lot more of the pollen stays where it needs to stay and gets on these silks so that you have corn that does, that's not missing any kernels or anything. So that's the reason I did it like this, and it, so far it's looking good. Boy, this thing is thirsty, and I gotta stay on top of it. I really gotta soak it in the evening, and if I notice anything wilting in the daytime, any of this stuff, then I have to be careful not to get the leaves wet, but come out here and add a second watering to the plants themselves. I wish I would've put an irrigation system in, and it's still not too late, but right now it's all doing good, so I'm not worried about it. But my God, man, I should've brought the stand out here for the camera so you can see me standing next to this but yeah that's incredible um extremely pleased now this will definitely blow your mind if you've seen the last video this is the okra and it's already getting ready to start blooming shoot man it's not but about two and a half feet tall and the stalks are already good and woody let's see if you can see this or not i'm gonna roll around with the camera here let you get a look but it's already getting ready to start taking off and producing okra. And just to give you an idea how big the leaves are, if that shows you anything. So it's doing really good. This is also something that stays extremely thirsty. But this is really filled in hardcore. It's, I couldn't be happier with this. All right, there you go. I just wanted to do a very quick update, let you guys see what's going on with the garden. And I decided to document this one a little bit more this year because this is a different method from what I've used in the past. As mentioned, I grew on straw bales last year. I took those straw bales, I recycled them. I mixed in good topsoil with it and then treated the soil to get it where it was ready for the plants to do their thing with it. And yes, sir, this has done good. I'll probably expand the garden next year, especially through these branding years. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you don't get too bored off of my little garden channel videos. Flash 001 USA and we're going to sign off and get out of this hot sun.